My name's Guy Kesterman and for nearly 25 years I've been a professional bike and kit tester. Uh, and today I'm talking you through uh, three brand new, well, two brand new and one slightly uh, evolved garment from Canadian uh, foul weather and just, you know, practical ride clothing uh, specialist Seven Mesh. Uh, if you haven't heard of them, uh, super top end uh, in terms of design, in terms of fabrics. And just they've just got a brilliant approach. The cut of their garments, the practicality, the toughness is all just kind of next level above pretty much anything else I use. You know, they really are, uh, you know, pro quality just for people who want to ride whatever the weather. These guys always deliver. And the nice thing is they actually don't change their range much because they tend to, you know, they don't you know, just blow out a new jacket, a new jacket, you know. They're not constantly evolving year on year on year. They'll just make improvements when the fabric's available, you know, there are changes in fabric availability, or they've just worked out a way to make something a little better. So I've also mixed in a couple of uh, their pieces that are actually a couple of years old now, but uh, still brilliant, still staples in my riding wardrobe. So anyway, I'm waffling on, uh, starting off uh, the Rebellion High Viz jacket. Uh, Rebellion jacket existed before. I actually had one that was kind of a bright yellow, uh, but not totally high vis. This, as you can see, properly neon sleeves and rear back panel. Uh, and that's because, like I say, uh, fabric technology has changed. So uh, you can now get this Gore Active, Gore-Tex Active fabric uh, in a uh, fully reflective uh, treatment. So, uh, sorry, not fully reflective, fully neon color. Uh, which means they can use that uh, Active 3L on the uh, sort of most prominent signalling and arse areas. And then you've got uh, a, a different, slightly lighter, uh, even more breathable gauge of Active uh, for the rest of the jacket. Uh, in terms of features, I mean, this is a proper roadie jacket. It may obviously work for gravel as well, but you are, you know, it's not a way for the pub kind of jacket. It's actually, when you see it hanging, it's actually feels a bit weird in terms of, it looks a bit weird in terms of the way it's cut, uh, but really, really cleverly cut. So when you're on the bike, it all just comes together really, really nicely. You've got these sort of spiraling sleeves uh, in different panels there. So again, full reflective look, uh, full neon visibility. Uh, you've got these bellows zips on the cuffs. So the more you pull them down, the more they tighten the cuff. And so they snug right down, and you've got a little puller on there. So uh, you need to do it with your teeth when your hands are really cold. Uh, and then a little bit of a uh, stretchy hem over the top there. So a really, really snug connection to your gloves. And then, you know, pre, pre articulated arms. Uh, it's, like I say, the cut is cut. So, you know, when you're on the bike, that works really, really well. Drop hem. So good uh, coverage over your arse when you bent down. There's a silicon gripper on there and it's stretchy as well. And then you've got this, uh, it's not really a chest pocket, it's kind of a shoulder holster pocket there uh, just for your phone. Uh, so that, you know, it's not hanging out, it's not hanging away. It's kind of where the jacket naturally supports it nicely. So where you can put your essentials in there. And then also on the back, You've got these two vents, these screw pockets, which means you can get into your jersey pockets nice and easily. So that's the Rebellion High Viz. They're still doing the Rebellion jacket in sort of plain colours, uh, but this is now your kind of extra safe. And these cuffs are so snug, I can't actually get the jacket off without uh, undoing them. So, uh, you know, well, that's the level of draft proof we're talking about there. And like I say, full uh, Gore-Tex active on different weights, so super breathable, uh, very, you know, completely windproof. Uh, little uh, soft liner on the collar there, hang loop and fully taped seams, as you'd expect. So fully waterproof jacket, but in a really lightweight, uh, really practical, uh, snug performance fit. And then we have, this is a new jacket, this is the new Co-Pilot, which essentially is the mountain bike equivalent of that rebellion. Uh, so uh, again, it's uh, active fabric. So this is Pack Light Plus, uh, another of the Gore-Tex fabric range. So and you know, 
as you'd expect for Gore-Tex. Fully waterproof, uh, taped seams throughout. Uh, you've got a weather type uh, Vizlon zip on this as well, same as the Rebellion, uh, with a panel behind the back of it. As you can see, it's a more relaxed cut. Uh, you've got a similar shoulder holster pocket there. For your valuables, and again, a nice supportive position so your phone can go in there. Uh, there's no pockets on the back, uh, it's just a straight cut on the back, uh, drop hem. Uh, there are little adjusters on the side if you want to snug it down a little bit. And also you get an over-the-head hood which has adjusters on the side uh, and on the back to uh, take the volume down to uh, snug it down over your hood. It's got a built-in peak as well. So, you know, really lightweight. Uh, again, not as complicated a cut as on the uh, Rebellion, but loads of different darts and panels where it matters under your arms uh, just to make sure there's no uh, interference in your movement and just, you know, again, lightweight, packable, you'd have no problem uh, taking that with you just in case, but it'll still protect you all day from weather, wind, rain, whatever's coming at you. Uh, that's a full protection uh, anti-weather jacket. Uh, this is uh, 220 quid, uh, whereas the Rebellion, just because it's more complex and uh, because the fabric used in it, is 300 quid. And then we have possibly the favourite name in a garment I can remember, uh, the brand new Thunderpants. Uh, as, you, uh, as the name suggests, uh, trousers, pants, whatever, uh, and they're designed for you know, the worst of weather. They actually use Gore-Tex Pro, uh, which is Gore-Tex's most durable uh, uh, fully waterproof fabric. I mean, designed to be really, really long-term waterproof. Kind of, I mean, they're all guaranteed dry. Uh, you get this, you know, these tags with them. So, in not, you know, if you're just hosing down, they'll they'll fine. But because you're moving around and brushing against things, the way you rub against the inside of it, that can all leak water through. But these will keep out water as long as any other fabric, any longer than any other fabric, pretty much. But still got really good breathability. And they they use different two different uh, weights of uh, Gore-Tex Pro as well. So around the seat and around the upper leg, you've got 70 denier, uh, so super durable fabric. I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, companies use like 40 duro and say, oh, that's their fully reinforced fabric. So these are 70. And then on the lower leg, around the knee and around the waist, uh, where it doesn't get as much wear, uh, it uses a 30 weight. And then, this is genius, I love this. You got like a neoprene cuff on the bottom. So that's what snugs over your boot or over your waterproof shop, sock or your shoe. And they're designed to be fully trimmable. So you've got uh, pre-cut, pre-markers on there to uh, cut the legs down to whatever length works for you. And then you've got a full side zip on there as well. So you can easily pull them over uh, your shoes or your pads or whatever, and then just zip them down and it's a two-way zip as well so you've got some venting there if you need that and they're cut to fit over pads they're cut to fit over like downhill pants as well and then you've got a little pocket on the side there just a fully waterproof pocket for your uh, valuables keys you know whatever else you don't want to get wet fit I've, as you can see these are absolutely untouched i've not worn them yet but the fit is you know They've gone drastic with the fit. They've got like a proper egg cup trouser fit, uh, really, really high at the back where you need that splash protection. And uh, then the front, yeah, no fly, no zip, nothing. And it drops down quite low, so it's a real riding fit. Uh, actually looks a bit like a set of maternity trousers, to be honest. Uh, and then you've got side cinches there to uh, gather your waist in. And then if you want to, you know, use a full belt, you've got belt loops as well, so... Uh... Actually, no, you haven't. <laughs> Sorry about that. You have not got a belt loop. Well, you have. You've just got belt loops uh, for these little side adjusters there. It's just a little snap lock buckle. So, uh, obviously, I'm going to have to tell you about the fit uh, once I've got out there riding in them. Uh, which, given the weather recently, I will be doing a lot. So. Those are the Thunderpants, and those are £279.99 in the UK. Uh, then, a uh, couple of garments. Uh, 
which, like I say, have been out a few years, but are still right up there in my kind of essentials wardrobe from Seven Mesh. Uh, this is the Oro jacket, uh, Gore-Tex shape dry, so you've got that amazing breathability, and uh, genuinely the water does just shake off these, so uh, as soon as it stops raining or drizzling, you know, you can just give them, a, give them a quick shake, stick them straight back in your pocket. And 93 grams, uh, this is absolutely minimal weight. I mean, you can see it's uh, it's a snug fit. This is a small, uh, so uh, it's definitely kind of a snug, roguey fit there, but you've still got the drop tail on it. So you've got a decent length in the body. You know, you can go snug on these without it uh, interfering with the fit. I mean, there's no real stretching shape dry at all. Uh, so the fit has got to be really, really well judged. And, uh, well, frankly, this is, I've always struggled with, uh, right up until the uh, Gorbra at uh, the stretch Gore-Tex, uh, the stretch shape dry jacket, I'd really struggled with the fit. So this has always been the shape dry jacket I used. Uh, one thing, the uh, wrist elastic is really, really tight. Uh, Bothers me a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it obviously doesn't bother me that much. I just like give it a bit of a snip in there. Uh, but uh, you know, something to bear in mind. You might want to sort of DIY just that. But obviously, it makes it really, really secure in terms of not getting any water up there. Uh, the zip again, just some nice, really nice detail touches to keep it so light. The zip is laminated straight onto the fabric. Uh, it's a reverse coil zip with their own custom puller, so you know, plenty to get hold of. Uh, with your gloves or whatever you're wearing. And again, you've got those pass-through pockets on the back so you can get into your jersey pockets and they act as a bit of a vent as well. And... can't remember where it is on this jacket, but there is a uh, single pocket on here. Where are you? Yeah, there is a pocket on here. I give up. But there is a pocket on here, so you can kind of stuff it inside itself, again, to take up minimal pack room. But there you are, sorry, it's on the inside there. So, uh, I mean, you can see just the size of that pocket, uh, that's what it stuffs down into. So, it's absolutely minimal pack size. Uh, the one thing I would always say with Gore uh, Shape Dry, though, it is a brilliant fabric, uh, but because it's essentially, you're just getting the membrane, you're not getting any protective face fabric, which is how it shakes off the water and gives that amazing breathability. Uh, it is pretty fragile, so uh, you know, pretty much all my shake dry jackets. It doesn't take long before there's a little bit of gaffer tape reinforcing on there, uh, where I've accidentally snagged them on something and uh, they tear really, really easily. So look after them. Uh, that's not a cheap jacket at 250 quid, but the performance is right up there. And finally, uh, talking of garments that I should probably look after, uh, straight out of the uh, ride bag, uh, the uh, Revo short. Uh, again, just just a brilliant example of uh, seven mesh design. Really, you've got this ride gusset, so which keeps the uh, gussets away from the centre line, so they're less likely to get worn there, and uh, less likely for the waterproofing to give way. Uh, that same riding gusset uh, feature is also in the Thunderpants. Uh, Gore-Tex fabric throughout, uh, little short thigh there, press stud, side, side adjusters there. Full, there are full belt loops on this one. I think that's where I got my notes confused. So you can add a belt if you want to. Slightly more conventional trail shortcut. And with an 18 inch leg length, and uh, as you can see, a sort of uh, diagonal I think you call it a bias cut in dressmaking. Uh, over the knee there, they'll come right down over your knee pads. So excellent, full top of leg protection. And I love the fact that even the, uh, you know, you know when a short's designed for uh, proper wet weather riding, when the hand pockets uh, actually have a drain hole in them. So if they get full of water, uh, they'll still come out. And pretty much my go-to uh, shorts uh, when it's filthy, uh, as you can see, you know, plenty of evidence of that on there. But even after a couple of years, uh, had a lot of riding in them, just starting to wear a little bit on that seam. And like I say, these have seen some hammer. So uh, there you go, uh, full Gore-Tex, riding short. And just what makes them stand out is just absolutely brilliant cut and just some really, really nice detailing. So they feel like a normal short, but they've got full weatherproof protection. And that kind of sums up 
where Seven Mesh sit, really. Um, you don't see it about a lot, but whenever you meet, pretty much, what I would say, whenever you meet someone wearing Seven Mesh kit, you can pretty much go, yeah, you know, you know what you're doing. You ride a lot, whatever the weather. You know, it's kind of like a, it's like a, if there's a brand nod to other people who will just go out regardless and don't mind, you know, spending money on getting the best kit, then Seven Mesh, that little logo, you know, that's the one to look for if you're looking for Qdos. Typically, I'm now going to pick up a gun that doesn't have it on. That little Seven Mesh logo, uh, it's actually quite hard to make out what it is. Two mountains with a seven and them. But yeah, meet someone wearing that. Do not expect them to give up if the weather gets lousy. Uh, so on, I'm rambling again, uh, just to say thanks very much to Seven Mesh for sending me the new kit. Uh, like I say, I'll probably be wearing that a ton, uh, not just for testing, but because it will almost certainly work really, really well. But I'll be coming back with videos uh, to, well, see whether that comes true or not once I've had some trail time in it. Uh, thank you very much to my uh, patron supporters as well who pledge a small amount to the channel uh, every month to uh, pay for unsponsored, unsupported videos like this, uh, help me buy equipment and help me kind of take the time out from my normal work for websites and uh, magazines doing features for them. Uh, so, if you like what I'm doing, please consider co contributing via Patreon for a small monthly contribution and you'll get extended behind the scenes and early edits and kind of a higher level of communication as well uh, if you need any advice from me as a reward. But for now, uh, please subscribe, please click the notifications, press the thumbs up button. Uh, more likes means these videos get to be seen by more people, thanks to the algorithms, which means the channel grows, which is great because we're nudging towards 20,000 subscribers now and we're still keeping the momentum, you know, people are still sending in their fresh kits. Get into your jersey pockets and they act as a bit of a vent as well. And can't remember where it is on this jacket, but there is a, uh, single pocket on here, where are you? Yeah, there is a pocket on here. I give up, but there is a pocket on here so you can kind of stuff it inside itself, again, to take up minimal pack room. But there you are, sorry, it's on the inside there. So, uh, I mean, you can see just the size of that pocket, uh, that's what it stuffs down into. So it's absolutely minimal pack size. Uh, the one thing I would always say with Gore uh, Shape Dry though, it is a brilliant fabric, uh, but because it's essentially you're just getting the membrane, you're not getting any protective face fabric, which is how it shakes off the water and gives that amazing breathability, uh, it is pretty fragile. So, uh, you know, pretty much all my Shape Dry jackets, it doesn't take long before there's a little bit of gaffer tape reinforcing on there, uh, where I've accidentally snagged them on something and uh, they tear really, really easily. So look after them. Uh, that's not a cheap jacket at 250 quid, but the performance is right up there. And finally, uh, talking of garments that I should probably look after, uh, straight out of the uh, ride bag, uh, the uh, Revo shorts. Uh, again, just, just a brilliant example of uh, seven mesh design, really. You've got this ride gusset, so which keeps the uh, gussets away from the centre line, so they're less likely to get warm there and uh, less likely for the waterproofing to give way. Uh, that same riding gusset uh, feature is also in the Thunderpants. Uh, Gore-Tex fabric throughout, uh, little short tie there, press stud, side, side adjusters there. Full, there are full belt loops on this one, I think that's where I got my notes confused, so you can add a belt if you want to. Slightly more conventional trail shortcut. And with an 18 inch leg length and uh, as you can see a sort of uh, diagonal, I think you call it a bias cut in dressmaking, uh, over the knee there they'll come right down over your knee pads. So excellent full top of leg protection and I love the fact that even the, uh, you know, you know when a short's designed for uh, proper wet weather riding, when the hand pockets uh, actually have a drain hole in them so if they get full of water uh, they'll still come out. And, Pretty much my go-to uh, shorts uh, when it's filthy, uh, as you can see, you know, plenty of evidence of that on there. But even after a couple of years, uh, had a lot of riding and just starting to wear a little bit on that seam. And like I say, these have seen some hammer. So uh, there you go, uh, full Gore-Tex, riding short and just 
what makes them stand out is just absolutely brilliant cut and just some really, really nice detailing. So they feel like a normal short, but they've got full weatherproof protection. And that kind of sums up where Seven Mesh sit, really. Uh, you don't see it about a lot, but whenever you meet, pretty much, what I would say, whenever you meet someone wearing Seven Mesh kit, you can pretty much go, yeah, you know, you know what you're doing. You ride a lot, whatever the weather. You know, it's kind of like a, it's like a, if there's a brand nod, to other people who will just go out regardless and don't mind you know spending money on getting the best kit then seven mesh that little logo you know that's the one to look for if you're looking for kudos typically i'm now going to pick up a gun that doesn't have it on that little seven mesh logo uh it's actually quite hard to make out what it is two mountains with a seven and an M. but yeah meet someone wearing that do not expect them to give up if the weather gets lousy uh, so hang on, I'm rambling again, uh, just to say thanks very much to 7mesh for sending me the new kit. Uh, like I say, I'll probably be wearing that a ton, uh, not just for testing, but because it will almost certainly work really, really well. But I'll be coming back with videos uh, to, well, see whether that comes true or not once I've had some trail time in it. Uh, thank you very much to my uh, patron supporters as well who pledge a small amount to the channel uh, every month to uh, pay for unsponsored, unsupported videos like this, uh, help me buy equipment and help me kind of take the time out from my normal work for websites and uh, magazines doing features for them. Uh, so, if you like what I'm doing, please consider co contributing via Patreon for a small monthly contribution and you'll get extended behind the scenes and early edits and kind of a higher level of communication as well uh, if you need any advice from me as a reward. But for now, uh, please subscribe, please click for notifications, press the thumbs up button. Uh, more likes means these videos get to be seen by more people, thanks to the algorithms, which means the channel grows, which is great, because we're nudging towards 20,000 subscribers now, and we're still keeping the momentum, you know, people still sending in their fresh kit in, even when it's proper top quality gear. So it's worth them having this stuff on their channel because uh, you guys have got eyes on it and uh, you value what I'm talking about. But for now, I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Kest TV talking about my latest delivery of anti-weather clothing from Canadian Legends 7 Mesh.